Welcome back to Paddy's Golf Tips. Uh, we're going to talk about the stance and the posture today. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. Stance and posture is a lot more relaxed than most people believe who come to golf. You, you want a very comfortable posture, okay? You want it, you won't want to be tight and rigid at the start. You want to be nice and relaxed. It's very similar to the posture you would have taken as you're, you're in a ready position, but you're certainly not tensed up, okay? So what does that mean? I'm going to do quite a bit down the side here, but for starters, okay, maybe the, the most people are worried about the width of stance, okay? So width of stance generally you don't want your feet turned in, so a little bit out, because that helps you, which your, allows your hips to move. If you, if you lock them in here, you're more likely going to be swaying. You could hurt something. You could hurt a knee or a hip to compensate. So give your feet a little bit of turn out. That just helps it re relax when you're turning your hips both directions, okay? Takes the stress off the knees. Secondly, you will notice, generally your stance, uh, the wider it gets, the more locked up you are. I can't really turn my body from there, but if it gets too narrow, it tends to be very much hands and arms. So if you want more hands and arms, go narrow. If you want less hands and arms, you go a little wider. I wouldn't go much wider. Certainly on an iron shot, you're going about just slightly wider there. That's a four iron in my hand, slightly wider than my, than my shoulders, as you can see. And with a driver, if I was going up in the air, yeah, I get a little wider, a little bit outside my shoulders. If I'm going a little lower, it's just outside my shoulders, okay? So it's not too wide, that's for sure, and not too narrow, just nice and relaxed. Now, the most important thing, and especially if you wanna look like a golfer, but if you wanna prep, when it comes to this stance, a little bit turned out, you keep moving. Do not get rigid, okay? We don't wanna lock down our hips, our knees, or our feet in any sense before we take the club away or during the swing. We always gotta move, we gotta move properly. So the best way, and if you wanna look like a player, move your feet. I've got a little bit of movement in the club head, a little bit of dancing with my feet. That is the thing that will prep you the most. You, you, you know, you've, you've done it all your life in all sports. If you're a goalkeeper waiting on a penalty, you're moving your feet. If you're waiting to start off the race, you're, you know, everybody's getting ready, ready. That's the same position with golf. You've got to move your feet like so. Now, as regards the actual posture, I'm going to turn down here. So, the one thing we don't want to do, which is crazy, you don't want to flex your knees, okay? You don't want to straighten your legs either, so you never lock your legs out, that wouldn't be good, okay? But nobody would do that anyway, so I'm not worried about that. The one you see a lot of people doing, you see them all doing it, and whether it's at Top Golf or Drive Shack, is it? All these places, you know, they bend their knees. What's that all about? How can you look athletic in that position? I don't know what you're doing if you're doing that, okay? We don't bend our knees, we move our feet. See the difference? My knees are nice and relaxed. There's a little flex in them, but I ain't bending them. That's terrible, okay? That, no, I'm talking. That is the worst thing you can do in your golf swing, is do that, okay? You're completely off balance. You're weak, you're powerless in this position. Do not flex your knees. Move your feet, and that will get your knees in the right flex. Yes, we don't want them both straight, but that's not gonna happen anyway, because that would be uncomfortable. Just nice bit of dancing going around and you can see lovely little, little bit of a flex. With not flexing your knees, do not stick your backside out. Okay, that's terrible. That's gonna hurt your back. You, you, you're, you're gonna be strained. And look, if my backside is sticking out in the backswing, how am I gonna make a turn? I'm, I'm locked up, I can, can't get my hips to turn. You stand nice and relaxed, okay? I'm not telling you to, I'm not telling you to tuck it in. I'm not telling you to push it out, I'm telling you just stand there nice and comfortable, okay? Now, once you get in a comfortable position, do not do that. You will find, let your arms hang down, okay? We don't want to stretch them out, okay? We want to let them hang down nice and relaxed. Not a huge amount of pressure there. Again, you'll find a nice position. If you move and waggle the club head, waggle your wrists around, you will find a nice position, nice distance. Everything is relaxed and prepped to go, okay? There's nothing rigid about this. 
I'm not sticking out. What you will tend to find is you're going to be more in this posture with a little bit of curvature, like so, rather than in a rigid posture. This rigid posture came in in the 90s, sticking out like that. And what they were trying to do is copy the impact position. But what we've since found out, go back pre-90s to the old school guys, if you're in a relaxed position set up, you're going to create more power. And when you come in, you can drop and get into that position where your backside is out, left cheek is way out that way. And I have that posture you can see beautiful like that. Don't start with this posture because if you start in that position, the most likely thing is it's so hard to hold on to it. It's so hard you're going to lose it. And especially in the downswing, you're going to forward thrust here. It's just a position you can't keep if you stick this out, if you stick this out. Relaxed and then go for that position at impact. So it's relaxed and go for that position like so into impact rather than trying to start in the impact position, okay? So nice and comfortable, nice and relaxed, arms hanging. And that's pretty much, oh, sorry, it isn't all there is to the posture. We've talked about the feet, not too wide, not too narrow, a little turned out. We talked about the knees, we talked about the hips, we talked about the back, talked about the arms, talked about the hands. But probably the biggest thing that sets a beginner out from a golfer is their head position. You've got to have a relaxed head in the golf swing, okay? Do not stand over the golf ball. Do not put your head down. If you put your head down, you look terrible. You look unathletic, okay? No sport ever have you been told, well, maybe you're, somebody will find a sport, but no athletic sport where you're trying to create speed and power do you keep your head still, okay? You certainly don't tuck your head at a dress, okay? If you tuck your head at a dress, look at it, it brings your shoulders up, the tension, and look, I can't get anywhere without lifting. Show you that, if I tuck my head and try and keep it down, if you tuck your head, you're gonna to top the ball. So that thing that you're using to correct hitting top shots along the ground, that's actually making it worse. Because if you put your head down, it's gonna, you've gotta lift it all over the place. If you had it somehow kept it down into impact, it's gonna to have to come back up incredibly to get out of the way. You don't, you want your, you want it relaxed. You're gonna hurt your neck if you keep it down with that tension. So watch where my head is. By all means, keep an eye on the golf ball. Absolutely keep an eye on the golf ball. You would in all sports. A relaxed eye on where you're gonna hit. Keep an eye on the golf ball. But you don't have to keep your head down to keep your eye on the golf ball. So from the downhill, down the line position, you can see my, there's a bit of room there. It's nice and relaxed. My, my neck is floating, okay? There's no, there's no tension there in my neck. So that when I swing, I can get my left shoulder underneath my head. There's plenty of room there. There's no pressure in my backswing. Whereas if I tried to keep my head down, it would get in the way and I'd have to lift my torso. Okay, so nice and relaxed, but watch this down the line. So you will notice, going this way first, sorry, down the line, you will notice my head, it will stay reasonably steady, but turn in the backswing. Okay, so there's a little bit of movement. I can still see the ball, no problem. So there's a, not a huge amount of lateral movement, but definitely a tiny bit of turn in my neck and head. So I turn, I drop a little bit with my head, and then I explode back up with my head. So it will, it will move, turn a little, down a little, up a little. So from the face on view, again, nice and relaxed, I'm keeping an eye. You can see how much my head turns. I can still see the ball, so it's not a problem with that. I just not keep my head in that position. I just said, if I keep my head in that position, I can't make any turn, no hip turn, no shoulder turn. Whereas if I have a little bit of head movement, you can see, nice. I squat in there and my head does back up a little bit. It doesn't come up massively because my right side is staying down, but it definitely comes back up, a little bit up and back to create power, especially in a driver. But if, basically what I'm saying is, if you were playing tennis, if you're playing baseball, you keep an eye on the ball, but you don't keep your head still. Let your head and neck float to whatever position it needs to be in for you to be, have an athletic dynamic, dynamics golf swing. Don't keep it rigid. It's gotta be the worst thing you can possibly do to create uh, a good swing is to try and keep your head still.